Once in a land steeped in ancient customs and beliefs, there lived a highly respected priest who struggled with the weight of societal expectations. One day, he decided to perform a ritual goat sacrifice, believing it to be an offering demanded by his god. The priest selected a goat fit for the ritual, instructing his servants to cleanse it in the sacred river and adorn it with a garland of flowers. As the servants bathed themselves for purification, down at the river bank, the goat suddenly understood that today he would definitely be killed and at that moment the goat experienced a sudden awakening, becoming aware of his past births and deaths and rebirths. He realized that the results of his past unwholesome deeds were about to finally be completed. So he laughed a hilarious goat laugh, like the clanging of cymbals. In the midst of his laughter, he realized now the truth, that the priest, by sacrificing him, would suffer the same terrible results due to his ignorance. So he began to cry as loudly as he had just been laughing. The servants who were bathing in the holy river heard first the laughing and then the crying. They were amazed. So they asked the goat, Why did you loudly laugh and then just as loudly cry? What is the reason for this? The goat replied, I will tell you the reason, but it must be in the presence of your master, the priest. Intrigued by the goat's peculiar behavior, the servants brought it to the priest. They explained all that had happened. The priest, whose faith wavered in the shadows of his doubt, respectfully asked the goat, Sir, why did you laugh so loudly and then just as loudly cry? The goat, remembering its past lives, explained, A long time ago, I was a priest who, like you, was well educated in the sacred religious rites. I thought that to sacrifice a goat was a necessary offering to my God, which would benefit others as well as myself in the future rebirths. The true result of my action was that in my next 499 lives, I myself have been beheaded. While being prepared for the sacrifice, I realized that today I will definitely lose my head for the 500th time. Then I will finally be free of all the results of my unwholesome deeds of so long ago. The joy of this made me laugh wildly. Then I suddenly realized that you, the priest, were about to repeat the same unwholesome action and would be doomed to the same results of having your head chopped off in your next 500 lives. So out of compassion and sympathy, my laughter turned into tears. The priest was afraid this goat might be right, so he said, Well, I will not kill you. The goat replied, Reverend priest, even if you don't kill me, I know that today I will lose my head and finally be released from the results of my past unwholesome action. The priest said, Don't worry my fine goat, I will provide the very best protection and personal guarantee that no harm will come to you. But the goat said, O oh priest, your protection is weak compared to the power of my unwholesome deed to cause its necessary results. So the priest cancelled the sacrifice and began to have doubts about killing innocent animals. He released the goat and along with his servants followed him in order to protect him from any danger. The goat wandered into a rocky place. He saw some tendered leaves on a branch and stretched out his neck to reach them. All of a sudden, a thunderstorm appeared out of nowhere. A lightning bolt struck an overhanging rock and cut off a sharp slab, which fell and chopped off the goat's head. He died instantly and the thunderstorm disappeared. Much like the goat and the priest, we often find ourselves ensured in the web of past actions, fearing the future. This blinds us, causing suffering and preventing us from living in the present. To break free from this circle, we need to understand the ripple effect of our actions. This starts with cultivating self-awareness through introspection, compassion and mindfulness. This awareness helps us navigate life wisely and empathetically, improving our well-being, fostering stronger relationships and enabling us to live in the moment, free from the burden of past regrets or future anxieties. As we embark on this journey of self-discovery, let's remember that every action counts. Today, 
take a moment to reflect on your actions and their consequences inspire others to do the same fostering a world of understanding and compassion thank you for joining us on this enlightening journey continue to seek wisdom stay compassionate and inspire those around you this tale carries an individual moral urging us to reassess our actions and their far reaching impacts if this story resonated with you please show your support by liking and sharing it subscribe to my channel for more enlightening tales that will guide you in becoming better versions of yourself let's strive together to make the world a kinder more thoughtful place one action at a time thank you for watching a shift in perspective and until next time take care and keep shining